I am Michel Gondry and I'm the director of Is the Man Who Is Tall Happy? So this is right at the beginning of the film where you see me on my camera uh, first shooting an animation, then I'm walking carrying the camera and we walk across the MIT building who's been designed by Frank Gehry uh, and we're gonna see a picture of no one the way I saw him waiting uh, just before uh, the interview and the camera you see is the same one that I use both to interview Noam, to shoot the, the bit where you see him, and to shoot the, the whole animation of the film. So there in this scene, I sort of uh, explain Noam how the camera works. And you have this funny comment of Noam saying it's going to wreck the audio, because the camera is very loud. So that's why I have to draw the camera each time you hear it. And I'm I was very nervous this day and I try to figure my first question and Noam is trying to put me at ease, telling me that my, I have some success so I should feel adequate. And so I get to ask Noam a question about his first memory and at the same time I'm cranking my camera and you can hear it so that's why I have to illustrate it. So we go backward in time uh, because he was trying to remember uh, his first memory on what how old he was, and he was uh, 16, 18 months. And so that brings us back to 1930. Uh, so the time he goes back to this to this uh, part of his life, I, I did the countdown on the camera, and it works with sort of the mechanics. And we zoom uh, into his brain, and now we are uh, back into his past. Uh, so I illustrated. Uh, uh, the group of auntie and his auntie is uh, trying to feed him with his oatmeal and he doesn't want to eat it. So this animation is done on paper, on the just sharpie on paper. On the background is a picture of a kitchen that I reverse in negative first and after I reverse the whole thing in positive in telecine. But it's all shot on film and that's what I've done basically. There is no post-production.